Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be breaking down slash reviewing slash reacting to the Sherlock episode that just aired. It just finished about 15 minutes ago, so yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. I am hyped. The episode was insane. So anyway, guys, let's get on with this. So basically, the whole plot line was to save herself, that's Eurus, from herself. So she, she has left clues since she was a kid with graves, which Sherlock found peculiar. It was a code to look in a room where Eurus was sat in her own dream, a metaphor that she had been stuck in this plane, this shaking plane the whole time, and also that she had been controlling Moriarty, or at least prompting him what to do, and that he didn't care that he died. So we are led to believe for a minute that he was alive when he gets off the helicopter, to, but later revealing it was five years ago so I'm sure for a lot of you big fans you were about to get really hyped but to be honest I really didn't want him to fully come back I think it would have been a waste of the story also the biggest story arc of the episode was about them having a fourth sibling which they did not suspect Sherlock or his brother uh, so his brother Victor was drowned in a well by Eurus when they were younger which the bones still lie I've got to be honest with you guys I did say when the episodes were out to my family that they repeated and emphasised the phrase that there were few people stop looking after three and that actually suggested to me that there could be a fourth sibling but I did not suspect that they would actually do that. I'm so happy I got something right in one of my theories but you got to pay close attention that's that's why I've been breaking these down these trailer videos so. She had powers over people and was able to manipulate them in her craziness she killed a lot of people but Mycroft did not suspect her of taking control of the whole place apart from Watson deducted that she was in control. She used Moriarty and Sherlock's storyline in the past like season 2, season 1 to save herself to get a message to Sherlock to save her from her, all her problems by finding all of her clues. There were a lot of Sign of Four references in this episode which I noted down like when Mycroft was dressed as an old man from a boat, a sailor that happened in the Sign of Four book but it was Sherlock who, who did this he was staking out the docks for a boat. Also another reference to the Sign of Four was at the end when Mary says in the CD, the Baker Street boys. In the Sign of Four there are the Baker Street Irregulars, a group of young Arab kids from the streets of London in the book Victorian times. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to drop a thumbs up and so I took a bit longer on this video sort of writing more notes because my last few Sherlock videos haven't been as precise and I wanted to get all my notes properly done and to give you correct information. So yeah I'm a really big Sherlock Holmes fan, I've read like most of the books. Uh, Sign of Four is something that I've read the most and have to analyse because I'm a student. Um, but anyway, so thank you guys for watching, and if you did enjoy this Sherlock video, I'll be back next year with more Sherlock videos. Maybe I'll do some, a few prediction videos for the next season. Um, but anyway guys, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.